this morning. There's a hype of ambush and a fox on this opposite bank here. Um, I'm sat on one side of a valley on the opposite side. It's not that far, 250, 300 yards, something like that. Um, but the opposite bank's got quite a few rabbit holes in that along there and a um, little bit of scrub and that and the uh, foxes quite often like to hunt along there first thing in the morning so might be a good good shout uh, got with me the uh, pulsar mergers these are quite good for this sort of thing um, sometimes if a fox is curled up in the snow or uh, or um, in a bit of bracken that they can be quite hard to see so if they're moving around the open in the snow but uh, yeah these are make it a lot a lot easier to pick them up early on uh, got the um, 260 with me good old 260 element nexus sat on top there sports match mounts MAE moderator um, out this bipod on the front there good little setup that and uh, so yeah there's hardly any wind probably only sort of a few mile an hour wind so if anything comes out then it should just be a case of uh, point and shoot um, and hopefully it does come out it will come out fairly soon because it's bloody freezing this morning <laughs> Just sat here on this bank. I'm just waiting for rabbits. Two hundred and fifty meters. So Worth the uh, worth the cold start anyway. That fox was just curled up there. He must have been sat there the whole time that I've been sat here, and I hadn't seen him. Uh, it just goes to show, even though they're like bright and ginger, they still they still blend in pretty well to their surroundings. Um, unlike me, <laughs> but uh, mind you, I did bring my snow camo with me, which is a homemade white sheet that, but there's not enough snow to make it worthwhile wearing so um, that's doubled up as a as a handkerchief for the last 20 minutes <laughs> uh, but yeah that fox was just uh, sat out there just over 250 meters um, just dialed that in two and a half MOA straight onto him knocked him straight over didn't even flinch just rolled straight over so brilliant I'll give it another five minutes and then um, walk over and have a look see if that's a dog or a vixen. My right, sun's very welcome. It's turned out to be a lovely morning. Been kept amused by a little robin here. It's only about a metre away from me, just hopping about in and out of the rabbit holes. But uh, I don't think we're going to see anything else up here this morning. So we'll walk over and um, go and pick that one up, I think. Lovely conditions, got a beautiful coat on him. 
as you can see the 260s um, hit that hard didn't know anything about it beautiful creature though but uh, we've got the lambing season starting here in about three or four weeks so they need to be controlled right let's take him down to the farm and we're uh, going to have a look on another farm later this evening I'm using a Mauser M12 this evening. This is a 243 rifle. Uh, on top of that, I've got a, uh, a Hike Micro Alpex scope held on there with Sports Match one piece quick release mount. So it's a nice little foxing setup, this. And uh, also, I've got the ability to, uh, or the calibre, I should say, to take out a deer as well if, um, if I bump into one. Right, well, it's just starting to, to get dark now, so I'm gonna get down to the corner of this field. I've got a high seat down there, so I'm gonna set up in the high seat, I think, and put my uh, electronic Fox Pro cooler out in the field and see if I can pull something out of this wood just at the bottom here. It's usually quite a good wood for foxes, so um, I'm fairly optimistic and they should be pretty hungry, so yeah, let's go have a look. and put the fox pro out in the field. What I'll do is I'll put this out about 50, 60 yards from the uh, high seat there. And um, hopefully that should give me a good enough opportunity for anything coming out of this wood up to the cooler that I can, uh, I can get a chance to get a shot on it. Right. Right, so I'm going to have a go with the uh, rabbit distress call. See how we get on with that. Well, I've called in some things in my time, but I've never called a heron in. <laughs> and um, he came right up to the court as well, stalked right up to it. Very curious by that. Um, I gave him a little quick blast of a fox bark. We didn't like that. <laughs> That's it, no, no fox. I think I'll just give it one more quick go on the cooler. Um, and if nothing comes in, then I think I'll uh, go down the other end of the farm and have another go down there. Notice when I'm calling, I'll always sit with my my thumb just sat on the mute button. And then if I do spot something coming in, then I can quickly mute the caller because the uh, the last thing I want 
is the fox to come running straight up, see the cougar and then bolt. So um, ideally what I want to do if I see a fox coming in, I'll stop it and let it come out in the field and hunt around for the for whatever the, was making that noise and that would give me a chance for a shot. Right, okay, I'm going to drive around to the farm here and have a look I think. Yeah, we got one out here. He's 130 metres away. Excellent. Well, I didn't even need to uh, put the call out for that one. He was just out in the field already. Um, I don't think he liked the idea of the truck being here though, and he started heading out across the fields there. But uh, just give him a little squeak, and he turned around, and that was his lot. Right, I walk out and pick that one up. That's our fox, and that is a vixen. Nice chest shot. Good fox, that. Brilliant. Well, I'm very pleased with that. So there we go, that was worth popping out for an hour or so. One Vixen down and the Mauser M12 there working as expected. And uh, also the Hick Alpex there, great little scope that. Um, so yeah, another successful evening. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the content and be sure to subscribe.